This guy's awesome. I hope you're starting to get an idea. That was, um, it took a minute. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, it's time for the quick silver essentials edition video, which as you know, I'm sure you've seen these before. And if you haven't, welcome. We're going to go over all the essential information you need to know if you've pulled Quicksilver, if you're considering going for them in the arena. Uh, crystals, I don't usually recommend that, but some people do it. He's awesome. He's great. I'll just show I'll, too long. Didn't read. I think he's up there. He's just as good. If you see my rankings videos, he is just as good or belongs in that tier with Spider-Man 99, Scorpion, Mr. Fantastic, Captain Infinity War, and along with others. Now, the Essentials video, we're going to go over everything that you need to know, right? We're going to go over his awakened ability. Is that important? Is he recoil friendly? Which synergies are really important? And what do they do? We're going to go over his flow, which is I will explain to you what that means if you're new to my channel. But basically, a lot of times people refer to that as rotation kind of, and how well his kit fits together. Again, too long didn't read. One of the reasons I love this champion is I think his flow is outrageously good, outrageously good. And I will show that to you in this video. And we're gonna go over all the strong points. Like, why would you want him? What's so great about him? Why does Vega and so many other people in this community rave about Quicksilver? One last thing before we jump into it. Yes, if you pulled him and you start playing, you're like, his mechanics are really funky. The medium light medium feels off. Yes, yes, that is, yes, that is a fact. It is a fact, but through patience and gameplay and not too much, depending on how familiar you are with the game, you will get very used to it. And then, as I said, because of his flow, even if you feel like you don't line everything up right, it's okay. The fight will maybe take you another 30 seconds. He's very, very safe. There's a lot of built-in mechanics to help make sure you get the most out of your Quicksilver. All right, let's jump into it. I'm gonna make this quick on this like, why do you want him? Why, why are you watching this video? Why have I decided he's worthy of making this video? But what if I told you there's one champion that had a very powerful wither, could handle unstoppable and evade plus miss at the same time as well as having amazing amazing flow incredible damage capabilities does not gain decks he does gain buffs so do not go into fights thinking he can't gain any buffs if a node's putting a buff on you he's gonna get him but he doesn't gain dexterity which is really big for going up against a lot of these mystic champions right just begin and then the flow on this champion is just absolutely incredible and i can't wait to show it to you Okay, we are gonna jump into the gameplay very quickly, go over the flow, rotation, all of that. But before we do, I think it is important that you understand this momentum mechanic. It's gonna be mainly signified in the upper left-hand corners where you're gonna see it. And we're just gonna go this very quickly. There's a few that I think are very important. Dodging backwards grants 12 momentum, basic hits grant one charge, right? But we've talked about how, or we're going to now talk about if you land your heavy, which is right there, you're gonna double momentum charges gain for 20 seconds. You'll see that light up well, again. We'll talk about that in the gameplay so you can get your momentum going very quickly and he's got a great reach on his heavy so that is not hard and it starts just on when you light like you start your heavy it's fantastic now every 100 charges is going to reduce the evade cooldown by one great it allows you to play that much more aggressively it is definitely a safety net i've had it come into play help me out a lot now here's the two really big ones as far as like you're getting a whole new ability here it's awesome at 300 charges, Quicksilver can miss, uh, cannot miss, and inflicts a slow. So slow tending and evade, unstoppable for you, and you can't miss. That is awesome. That is all wrapped up in one champion. You're like, that's a great amount of utility already, but there's more. Then at 600 charges, he can trigger the parry master against non-contacted attempts, and his evade ability actually cannot be reduced. Awesome. Makes him a little bit of a pain on defense, though, if anyone who's ever let him get up to 600 charges and you're trying to slow him or things like that. But being able to parry this non contact intent, it allows you to go against uh, champions like Ma. We will show that. Also, hello, champions like Shuri come into this game. These non contact attacks, really big deal. And then, last, just so you can understand this a little bit more as we go through that, at 900 charges, you enter terminal velocity. This is a big deal. Each of his specials gets a new effect when they are thrown with terminal velocity. It's extremely helpful. We will go over that, though, in the gameplay. Okay, this first fight we're gonna look at is just gonna be against that 6.1 Deadpool, specifically chosen him because I wanna talk mainly about Quicksilver, right? As we go through this video, you'll understand what he can do, and then you'll be able to take on seven, Act 7, Act 8, and all those sorts of things. 
Also, Deadpool has 157,000 health. This is going to be around what you're used to currently seeing in Battlegrounds, where I know often people think Quicksilver's too slow. One, he can be a very troublesome defender. And I think after seeing this, you might have some different ideas given all the utility and sorts of things he can do. Now, the big source of his damage is going to be that Whiplash, which you have basic attacks of a 35% chance to inflict a Whiplash. Then you can detonate them with a medium light, medium combo, but you do want to be careful about when you do that. That's part of why learning his uh, mechanics and the way he works is very, very important. And then you can refresh those Whiplash either by an evade or by that second medium. So let's go ahead and start this fight. And I want to show you this one because I'm not even going to go to my SB2. I'm going to land that heavy to get, um, I don't even, I don't know if there's necessarily a term for it, but it's going to double my momentum charges. We're going to get to terminal velocity. And remember when I talked about those specials have an extra effect. When the special one is uh, let go, use whatever with terminal velocity up, the attack rate is increased by 2,881. And you're gonna see me go medium, light, medium to detonate my whiplash. It takes, I think, three seconds, goes directly into the SP1. So you can see we have up our double, uh, you know, momentum charges going there, right? That's a green passive in the upper left hand corner. We've thrown the SP1, which causes normally to gain 150 momentum, but in this case, it's causing us to gain 300, which is why we're already at 600, 700, whatever. You're seeing this go. I've realized about where I'm lining up, so we're gonna continue ending our combos in medium. You're gonna see that's gonna refresh our whiplash in the upper right-hand corner there. There's also a tremendous wither on him. It's not as strong as Spider-Man 99 Miguel's, but you can spec more into the dexterity mastery and really use that wither to your advantage. It also gets refreshed when the opponent loses a bar of power, as you saw there medium light medium with terminal velocity up into the special one 157,000 health gone just like that in less than a minute if i remember correctly yeah 56 seconds that's pretty fast no is he going to be the fastest for battlegrounds no but if you need someone who can handle miss who can uh parry non-contact attacks who can handle evade for you and is a good defender that's really good there right or if you're going to use him in war where you also have this sort of health pool okay now we're going to step up in health pool a little bit this is still just about 200,000, so we're still well within that uh alliance war health pool sort of common area and we're going to show you the sp2 now the sp2 without terminal velocity inflicts this trauma debuff for 15 seconds causes whiplash to deal an additional 70 percent of the damage recently dealt as burst that's a big deal that's a lot this is kind of like how you're seeing some of these massive massive numbers people usually go into that sp3 but then if you have terminal velocity up, it's actually going to double the amount of whiplash. Watch how easy this is to go uh, get up and get going. And this is what I really want to talk about. I'm not even going to show you the SP3 because one, I think we've seen that a lot. It is awesome. It's great. I've used it myself, but also I don't want this video to take too long. I really just want to give you that essential information so you can see what we're doing here. Uh, I'm making sure not to do medium light medium because that will detonate the whiplash. You can see the nice heavy reach he's got there, right? Uh, which is a big deal, especially if we're going to be in stun immune, something like that. I I love this champion. And this is what I'm talking about. The flow is so good. You just saw us take out about 160,000 health. We didn't even throw our SP2, but here we're throwing uh, our SP1. We're gonna, I think I'm just gonna go straight to my SP2 after that one initial SP1. I wanna show his flexibility too. Yeah, see, look. And then now if I wanted to really get to terminal velocity, I could land another heavy, but look, we don't need to. We're just gonna use up this space on the map I mean, I guess I have you there, uh, but we got all the way up from, I think about 600 to about 800 without needing it. Gonna go in, throw our SP2, which will double our whiplash. We're gonna go from 80 to, uh, from 40 to 80. And then I'm not even gonna need to medium light or anything. It's just gonna detonate and he's done a burst of, what was that, 115,000? I think probably more, that's just how much health he had left. This guy's awesome. I hope you're starting to get an idea. That was, a, that took a minute. That was impressive, right? That was one special one, then into the SP2. Uh, I, you saw me have it, I think, twice there. Didn't even need to do it the second time. A minute, 200,000 health, gone. Just like that, and we haven't even talked about some of his other utility. Let's take a look at that. All right, and then before I show you this fight against a Ebony Ma, and you're gonna see we totally pull it off just fine, but I think for like extra security, this is a synergy that goes extremely well for a fight like this where you might get degen, right? Maka throws SP1, something just could go wrong. It's with Wiccan, who as if you've been paying attention to my channel of late, you know I absolutely love and I really like this synergy for Wiccan too, but this is a Quicksilver video. 
He's going to gain 8.3 degeneration resistance for every 100 momentum. We've already gone over multiple times how easy and quick and efficient it is to build up your momentum. And then you're going to see it in this fight as well. Right now, I wanted to find a Maw fight for you. I really couldn't, but I was able to, I have a rank three, six star Ebony Maw, very high sig. And I'm like, I'm going to do this with my three star Quicksilver. Those of you who've ever done this sort of duel don't know that as soon as Maw gets one degen up on you, it gets ugly fast. But I wanted to show you quite a few things, right? We've talked about the slow and the slow means he can't miss, but also that at 600 charges, he can parry the non-contact attacks. And then I know I just talked to you about the Wiccan synergy, which would help you with the degen. In this fight, I'm really gonna work to push Mondo's SP2, so I don't really need to worry too much about the degen, but here we go. Uh, so we're going in, you see, I haven't even landed my heavy yet. We're already up at 60 of our momentum charges. We've got that wither. We haven't talked a lot about the wither. I think it's about a 30% potency for each one. You can get up to six with the awakened ability. We'll talk about that. I really like it. No, it's not as powerful as Miguel's, but man, is it good. All right, so if I had already had my uh, enough of my momentum, I could have handled that and punished that heavy when I had falter up, but I didn't, so that's fine. Now we're good. We've got the slow, we can't miss. We're all good. As soon as we get to 600 of our momentum charges, you'll see we'll be able to just start pairing. I'm going the SP1 route because I'm trying to get to terminal velocity here and get those momentum charges up. And now you look, we're going to be able to parry Ma. Watch this. This is awesome. I think we already got one in. There's another one. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. He really can handle Ma. You just want to be careful and make sure you don't get that degen on you or bring Wiccan along. Wiccan's really fun to have too, as, as uh, we've been showing here lately on the channel. And then you can see, this is just a rank, th this is a maxed out three star against a rank three, six star Ebony Ma. We refreshed our whiplashes there, go into our SP2, it's gonna get doubled, we're up to 38, and you're like, that's not gonna kill him. Come on, this is a rank three, six star. There's no way. So uh, we did medium light medium, detonate, he's done. That's what I'm talking about. There's some really nice pig damage potential for it. And then you just saw it. You saw the miss mechanic that he can handle and the ability to parry non-contact uh, non -contact attacks, which is not just Ebony Maw. It's it throughout this game. And we are now getting a champion who has no attacks that make contact at all in Shuri. It's an important PC utility. Okay, does he need to be awakened and how helpful is the awakened ability? Does he absolutely need it? No, I think he's worth ranking without it, but I do really like it, especially if we're gonna use him for some of that power control. I know I've talked about the wither throughout this video, but I don't know if we've specifically really gotten down into it. And I love this at initially just rank one or sig level one, you can see that's the second bullet point here. Uh, terminal velocity increases by five seconds. That's not at, 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 at rank one, but you can see that that increases, which is great. We've seen why we would want that, but also the wither reaches a max stacks increases to three, giving it up to six. If each of them is really only at a 35% potency, you can increase each of them by 5% with points in dex. You can see I can get up to a really, really potent wither there, especially because it is refreshable when the um, when the opponent loses power. So you can keep them up quite nicely. And the SP1, if I remember correctly, let's see the, the SP1. Uh, yeah, refreshes all sacks of Wither and Whiplash. So you can see, you can get it going, you can keep it up there, which is great. I really do like him at the super high SIG though, especially if you're gonna use that special three, right? That special three allows you to do these, these huge, massive bits of damage. Also, I've talked about the flow. If you miss your window, your opportunity with the special two, you can just go to the special three. There's that nice debuff there, uh, the stun, you get all the way through there and that's gonna be helped out by that blue point there, right? While the opponent is suffering from personal stun, that stun's coming off the SB3. Their combat power rate is reduced by 50%, which is a significant amount, allows you to go in there and really beat them up, gain some power yourself, keep your whiplash going, that sort of thing. And then striking the opponent with light meter attacks locks him into place and increases Quicksilver speed. It's that cool animation that you've seen off of him. Uh, and so I really like that for those where you're gonna do that and then you're gonna rush to your SP2, double all those whiplashes and this signature ability make that makes that significantly more possible. So I really see him as someone where if you're gonna use him for power control and those withers, just get him to one if that's all you really want and then just let his signature ability grow over time. And then if you want to use that SP3 for those really massive bursts of damage or the SP3 into the SP2, then maybe you can even detonate it off of the SP1, then you're gonna want him at that super, super high SIG. And then of course, he is the prestige king. Well, I guess 
he's second place now, but he's still way up there and so they're therefore worthy of signature stone investment just for prestige alone. Okay, now let's quickly go over his synergies, right? Uh, I'm not gonna mention all of them. I'll go to the ones that I've tested or used or really like, or I could see being potential, uh, potentially helpful. Uh, this one's really nice for Professor X and Magneto, Wolverine, and Beast. It's something they don't already do that's starting to become put in more with the mutant class. But we're really focused on Quicksilver here. Uh, increasing the damage by 25%. I know a lot of times it's like, does this champion really need more damage? And he definitely falls in that category of like, no. However, 25% of a big number is a lot. 25% of 100,000 would be 25,000. You're following me. So 200,000. So I actually really like that, especially if you're like doing this in war or something like that, boss fights. I think this might be something that kind of helps you get through there. Uh, if Gauntlet comes back, I'd be really interested in taking Professor X or Magneto and Quicksilver in, seeing if that allows me to get some fights done otherwise uh, that I wouldn't. This one here with with the Wandas, we've seen how that works with the Wandas. We're not going to get into all that, right? Uh, but for Quicksilver, I, this one intrigues me, especially if you're just doing something where you're like really needing to use your SP ones. You can already increase its attack power uh, quite a bit when you're in terminal velocity. So I'm thinking there's a chance of this, but keep in mind it's only your first special, so it's just once after reaching maximum momentum charges. I just don't know how often you're really going to be using that. Uh, this one really intrigues me a lot, and we have heard a lot of positive things about uh, Black Bolt from our community's own Cat Murdoch. Really talked a lot about it and shows us how much he can do. Uh, but for Quicksilver, increase the duration of non-damaging debuffs by 20%. As I've played Quicksilver more, and remember, that's one of the common themes throughout this is just play him more. You will get used to him. You really will. Trust me, if I get used to him, you can get used to him. Uh, but play him more, and you're going to increase the duration of non-damaging debuffs by 20%. Whiplash is not a damaging debuff. And one of the things that can happen really frustrating is if you let them fall off. Now, you've got those ways to refresh them. We've gone over that. But having them stay up for 20% longer, I think, can be very helpful to you as you're just really getting used to them progressing. We have other synergies like this for other champions. They're just really helpful, especially as you're kind of first getting going, right? And I think this is considered a pretty nice synergy for Black Bolt as well. And then I know we talked about this already, but you know me, I love any chance to talk about Wiccan. I really like the synergy for both Quicksilver, allowing him to take fights like um, like Ebony Ma there, and then here for Wiccan as well. Is he recoil friendly? No, <laughs> it's that simple. He's not bleed uh, or poison immune nor resistant, and he has absolutely no heal. And as you've made your way through this video, you've seen, we're throwing SB1s, we're throwing our SB2s. He wants to do it. That's what he wants to do. I guess if you just gen really want to run them like any champion, any champion can be recoil friendly for a fight or two if you make no mistakes. So that's where he's at. Okay, and then final conclusions, kind of predictions for the trajectory of Quicksilver in this game. We're currently looking at my tier list for October. I'll be putting out a new one in November, of course. And you know what? Quicksilver is going to move up. If you're looking at this, you see he's already in the highest tier of science champions. But as I went through and used him more and more and more in preparation for this video, I just think he's that good. Remember now, for this is like the champions who will best efficiently help you clear content, right? We're not necessarily talking about war, or battlegrounds, or things, just like content, questing, these sorts of things. Eternity of Pain. I've already used him to solo some Eternity of Pain fights. Uh, we've seen players of extremely high caliber, like MSD, use him to solo fights as well. And I think that's really just the start. He's like we've gone over multiple times. The flow on this champion is incredible, meaning just like how do his abilities fit together? You can often kind of miss your quote unquote window. You'll hear players say one of the things they don't like about him is, well, if you miss your window, you're no, you're not. You just keep going in the vast majority of fights anyway, OK? Uh, I think he's really going to definitely be moving up over Quake and Void and maybe even Human Torch and get into that Spider-Man 99 Mr. Fantastic Scorpion kind of realm. And as this game progresses, we'll see what Kabam throws at us. I could see him being at the absolute top of this list. In fact, for me, I kind of already want to put him there because I think he's that valuable for an account. None of these other champions can do all of the things he can do. None of them can. Scorpion gets close, but he needs synergies to do that, right? He's going to need that Venom synergy or Anti-Venom. And then for his slow, he needs Toad. It is refreshable. I really like it, but he's still not handling Miss. The thing he's got is all of those immunities, but that's more just a symptom of this game. And I think that's a good thing of how complex it is. Quicksilver is definitely worthy of being up in that pantheon of 
the best science champions in the game. And I think as this game goes on, he is going to evolve exceptionally well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if we missed anything. Sometimes we do. The community's figured something out. Put that in the comments. We'll talk about it and let me know. Have you pulled him? Do you like him? Are you getting over his animations? And are you getting to the point where you actually kind of like him? Because I know I do too. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.